When we think of fast transport, we think of cars, jet planes, even trains. Rarely do we think of boats. But believe it or not, they're up there with some of the fastest ways to get around. From a boat inspired by Lamborghini to a team yacht with 1,550 horsepower, here are 15 of the fastest boats in the world. Number 15, MTI 52 Super Veloce. When people want to customize their boats, they give them fun names like Old Mary or The Captain. But if you're super rich, why not make the entire boat custom? That's what one billionaire did. Restaurateur Gino Gargiolo appeared on the TV show called The Secret Life of the Super Rich, and there's no denying he was super rich. Not only did he buy a Lamborghini Aventador Super Veloce car that was created just for him, but a yacht that shared the same features too. Once again, it was built especially for him and was called the Lamborghini MTI 52 Catamaran. The boat cost a whopping $1.75 million, with its unique Verde Sing color scheme costing a pretty penny at around $80,000 as well. It took about two years to be built, and no expense was spared. While it's quite obviously an attractive boat, it's also one of the fastest boats in the world. It was built with carbon fiber and can reach speeds of around 180 miles per hour. It also has a $25,000 audio system with speakers and amplifiers in the door panels and cabin and high performance features throughout. This restaurateur is certainly not roughing it. Before we go on, we have a cool challenge for y'all. It'll take about five seconds to complete. Uh, let's make a deal. Just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you will get 10 years of amazing luck and fortune. Try it. It actually works. Now it's time for the star topic. Okay, so we all know about needing more power on the water and needing it now. But this fishing mad duo took it to the next level. Instead of two engines, as is quite common on regular boats, they have a crazy 10 of them. All 10 of them sit side by side at the rear of the boat, all seemingly attached by a bar that runs along the back. When the guys get on the boat, they have to lower them all down and pull start them one by one. What do you guys think? Is this real or have these two fishermen tricked us into thinking they have more power than they do? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Outer Limits SV52 Boat builders are always trying to do one better than their competitor, and Outer Limits from Bristol, Rhode Island is proof of what is possible. The company was working on their first quad diesel engine SV52, which is made up of four 560 horsepower Fiat powertrain mills. The 52-foot boat has an all-carbon canopy and a five-step hull, which would see it the perfect boat for endurance racing. And the overseas buyers who organized the build will use it for precisely that. According to Mike Fiore, who works for Outer Limits, the boat has an unbelievable amount of power. It has four Arneson ASD drives with quick change gears and a top speed of over 112 miles per hour. The Herring 35-inch pitch propellers certainly help with this. Believe it or not, even with all that power, this boat is surprisingly good on gas. It gets 1.5 miles to the gallon at 90 miles per hour and has a 700 mile range at that speed. At 100 miles per hour, it uses 1.2 miles per gallon. For any endurance racer, this boat is the epitome of perfection. Number 13, South Bay 925 CR. Pontoon boats aren't really designed to go all that fast. 
In fact, most have average speeds of about 18 to 25 miles per hour. So when you see one slicing through the waves at 114 miles per hour, you'll have to do a double take. Surely it's not going that fast. It is. Every August, pontoon boat owners with a need for speed hit the waters of Missouri for the Lake of the Ozarks shootout. Now, these boats are by no means slow, and the pontoon owners go to great lengths to make theirs as fast as possible. A South Bay 925CR owned by Brad Rowland now has the title of the fastest pontoon boat in the world. It was clocked going 99 knots, or 114 miles per hour, with three Mercury Pro Max 300X outboard engines in tow. Even after breaking the world record, though, Brad was eager to do better. He believes he'll do a little more fine-tuning to see if he can get it up to 120 miles per hour. We'll see how long that takes, though, for it took him five years of tinkering to reach 114 miles per hour. Number 12, Fountain 47 Lightning. If you're the type of person who likes to fire on all cylinders, then you either need a Fountain 47 Lightning Yacht, or you are the Fountain 47 Lightning Yacht. This machine has a need for speed, and it's designed to be both the perfect poker run machine or a cruiser for those who like to go anywhere at any time. This boat can propel through the water with twin Mercury 1075s at 115 miles per hour, and it's kitted out with a range of features that will blow your socks off. There's a reason it's one of the fastest boats in its class, that's for sure. It has an ergonomic cockpit, drop-down bolster seats, and that famous cat-killer hull that gets the heart racing. But that's not all. Are you ready for the kicker? It comes with a bunch of extras and add-ons if you wish. From color-coordinated features that give this boat the ultimate edge, to the billet race throttles and pumping beats to get the party started, what more could you need in a race yacht? The Fountain 47 Lightning is leading the way. Number 11. Cigarette Racing Team 50 AMG GTS. The Cigarette Racing Team pulled out all the stops when they introduced their new 50-foot Marauder GTS from Mercedes AMG. If you want elegance, speed, and style, then you get all that and more. Mercedes has taken a few features from the Mercedes AMG GTS road car and used them to create the creme de la creme of racing boats. This is one for the record books. It has two Mercury Racing 1550 horsepower engines and a top speed of over 135 miles per hour. Now that's certainly nothing to scoff at. It also weighs 13,200 pounds, can carry 332 pounds of fuel at a time, and stands at a whopping 51 feet 7 inches long. The power is undoubtedly what this boat is all about. Still, there's also no harm in seeing why else it's leagues ahead of its competition. It has the world-famous cigarette paint scheme, two 12-inch touchscreens with depth finders, and a premium JL Audio sound system with Bluetooth. After all, there's no harm in being comfortable and having the best of the best when you're trying to win a race. Number 10. The Nortec 5200 Roadster. Want to glide over the water like it's made of smooth glass? Wish to be able to power through the ocean without a care in the world? That's the experience that the Nortec 5200 Roadster offers. The Nortec 5200 Roadster Speedboat comes from the American high-performance boatyard called Nortec, and it is a game-changer for any power-hungry boat racer who's after their next challenge. It's nearly 50 feet long, 6 tons heavy, and it has 4 engines with 1,350 horsepower each. That's a lot of power to be carrying. As a result, it travels at top speeds of 165 knots with a comfortable cockpit and space for up to 10 passengers. 
With all that speed though, the boat and boat driver has to be able to handle it. For that, they need the right hull. The Nortec Roadster has exceptional stability thanks to the weight in the hull, and it handles rough seas with the poise of an elegant woman. If there's any boat to have confidence with when out on the water with friends and family, it's the 5200 Roadster from Nortec. Number 9. The Skater 46 Pleasure if money is not an object in your pursuit for the perfect boat and the fastest, then step right up and come check out the range from Skater. Skater power boats are the gold standard of racing catamarans and pleasure boats, and they range in price from $250,000 to over $1,000,000. Whether you prefer to hum along with a standard engine or you want one that's supercharged with 1500 horsepower, Skater delivers. In particular, the Skater 46 Pleasure Boat gets heads turning. Initially, Skater built the 46 model to supersede the classic 40 model, but it's become one of the best race boats money can buy. It has won championships such as the Key West Offshore Championship, and it leads the open and superboat classes. It's not hard to see why, either. Underneath all that epoxy and carbon fiber is a mean machine with four engines and four drives. It also has a damper device to help you manage rough waters. The configuration and comfort of this boat are out of this world, and it's not hard to figure out what makes it a winner. Number 8. Mystic C5000 If you like to feel the wind through your hair and you don't mind your bank account being half a million bucks lighter, then the Mystic C5000 might be the right boat for you. Built in 2011, it's as fresh as a daisy and has all the bells and whistles you need to live life to the fullest on the water. The Mystic C5000 is a carbon fiber boat with 1,850 horsepower engines, BPM surface drives, and stainless steel thrust tubes. Given its unique shape and structure, it glides through the water like a hot knife through butter. But while it's traveling the water at a blistering pace, it's also all about making sure you're as comfortable as possible. It has onboard oxygen, an air-conditioned cockpit, and luxurious areas for up to six people. The JL audio system is also bound to be a big hit, as is the Tiger communication system. With 3,700 horsepower under its belt, well, under its hull, and a 50-foot length to show that you mean business, this boat is definitely a showstopper. Look a million dollars on the water, but while only spending half a million. Number 7. Francisco We've heard ship companies make big claims before, such as the boat being unsinkable <coughs> Titanic. So when a new ferry maker claimed that their boat would be the fastest ferry on the planet, people were a little skeptical. But they needn't have been. The Francisco, which is noted as being the Concord of the Seas, indeed does mean business. It can move over 1,000 passengers, 1,024 to be exact, along with 150 cars at around 67 miles per hour, or 58.1 knots in sea language. As the boat weighs 450 tons, that's no mean feat. When the 324-foot boat was released, it was going to be the new ferry that traveled on the Rio de la Plata estuary between Buenos Aires, Argentina, and Montevideo. But it wouldn't just rattle along like any other passenger hack, it would be a true boat of class. Okay, we've definitely heard that said about the Titanic before. It has a duty-free shop, VIP areas, plenty of bars, and dozens of areas to get comfortable for the journey. The Lightning Fast Francisco also runs on liquid gas and marine distillate, with two gas turbines and two water jets to power it. Number 6. Jaguar Vector the market for electric products is growing by the day, but consumers need to see them as being worthy of purchase before they make the investment. The Jaguar Vector is more than proving that electric boats are having their day. 
In 2018, Jaguar Vector Racing, with its Jaguar Vector V20e boat, broke the world and national electric speed record in a boat powered by batteries. The zippy little machine traveled at speeds of 88.61 miles per hour across a .62 mile course in Coniston Water, England. It quite literally blew the previous record out of the water, which was 76.8 miles per hour. Jaguar Vector Racing CEO Malcolm Kreese said the title came after 12 months of hard work in trying to bring power and versatility into the electric motor world. With a clever mixture of advanced engineering regarding control systems, the power, and the motor, not to mention a talented racing team, they were able to make it happen. The team now looks forward to smashing their own record in the years to come, not to mention setting a benchmark for electric boats in the future. Number 5. Tirana Whenever you see a collaboration between Mercedes AMG and cigarette racing, you know it's gonna be something good. After all, they have a history of creating the best in high-performance racing boats. They're all pretty good, but the new Tirana is just that little bit more special. The new 59-foot Tirana AMG Edition, which pairs beautifully with the Mercedes-AMG G63 Cigarette Edition SUV, would win every beauty contest it entered if it were human. What first stands out about it is how light it is. Mercedes-AMG dumped all its heavy bits and opted for a lightweight, high-tech composite material that would create an even smoother ride on the water. The traditional raked hardtop roof is now made from carbon fiber, and the payoff is that the boat enjoys a superb center of gravity. But let's not forget what we all came here for, and that's the speed. Six, that's right, six Mercury Racing 450R outboard V8 engines complete the build of this boat with a combined output of 2,700 horsepower. That's no walk in the park. It can reach top speeds of 80 miles per hour and has room for 26 people to enjoy the ride of their life. And enjoy it they will. For there's a gyro stabilizing system that helps with the whole motion sickness thing that seems to put a damper on many sea trips. Number 4. DCB M35XS Wide Body. Brad McCulley was like a child eagerly awaiting his Christmas present when his new DCB Performance Boats M35 Widebody XS model was rolled off the production line in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Brad, who's a Canadian performance boater, was expecting a pretty spectacular boat, but what he got was better than he ever imagined. While he was allowed to be involved in the color scheme, rendering, and a few other features, the rest was left in the capable hands of performance boats. He just had to trust they were making the right choices. And they did. Brad said the boat felt more in contact with the water than his old boat, and he loved the fuel range. He was able to add an extra 20 gallons to each side of the boat and could still cut through Canadian waters at speeds of up to 168 miles per hour. That's all thanks to the new twin Mercury 1350 engines and M8 drives. It wasn't long before Brad had fallen in love with his new DCB M35XS wide body, and there are no two guesses as to why. Number 3. Problem Child. If you wanted to show other boaties that you mean business on the water, there's only one way to do it. With your problem child. Uh, no, we don't mean your middle child who's always grounded or in trouble. We mean the boat called Problem Child. Problem Child is a nitrous-fueled machine with a take-no-prisoners approach to the water. Back in 2013, this insane boat set a record of 262.238 miles per hour. That's pretty fast, but do you know what the kicker is? It achieved that in just three and a half seconds. Not even a Bugatti Veyron can do that on land, let alone on the water. With 8,000 horsepower to play with, there's almost nothing this boat can't do. 
it will rocket over a light rippled lake at over 250 miles per hour without breaking a sweat and holds the 15 quickest 1,000 foot elapsed times in history. Think your pontoon is fast? It'd be like a snail racing a jaguar. The Problem Child is part of a team that's associated with the Kalita Motorsports NHRA team. It has the very talented Daryl Ehrlich behind the wheel. Number 2. Bluebird K7 We always look to those older than us to find out how to do things properly, and if you wanted to build a super speedy boat, you'd take a look in the direction of the Bluebird K7. English brothers Ken and Lou Norris, along with racer Donald Campbell, will surely show you how it's done. The trio launched the Bluebird K7 in 1955 and set a speed record of 276 miles per hour. To be honest, it wasn't hard to break the record, for the old one was 178 miles per hour. The hydroplane was creating waves, literally and metaphorically, and there was no better man to put behind the wheel than Donald Campbell. He had set seven speed records between 1955 and 1964, and was also responsible for the Bluebird's latest 1955 record as well. Unfortunately, after reaching its highest speed ever of 350 miles per hour, the boat started to bounce and it lifted from the surface. It plunged into the lake and Donald was killed as a result. In 2018, reconstruction efforts of the boat began, but there is no plan to increase the speed potential for safety reasons. Number 1. Spirit of Australia when you've got some pretty fast and furious animals like the kangaroo and croc, it makes sense to build a boat that takes on that same speed or ferocity. You nailed it, Australia. The Spirit of Australia is currently the fastest boat in the world and can reach speeds of 317.6 miles per hour. To put that into the perspective of a land record, it would be like a formula driver navigating the roads at about 200 miles per hour. The Spirit of Australia was the creation of Ken Warby, an Australian motorboat racer and current speed record holder since 1978. While the boat is now in the Australian National Maritime Museum in Sydney for people to view, that doesn't mean you won't see its likeness on the water. Ken and his son David have now built Spirit of Australia 2, which has more power and more potential for records in 2020. It's currently undergoing trials, but so far, so good. It's definitely worth watching this space to find out what these boat builders and racers are made of. Your car now looks pretty boring, doesn't it? Cars, trains, planes, they're all okay methods of transport, but nothing beats the feeling of slicing through the ocean's waves. Which of these boats was your favorite? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!